We're about to meet new parents, Brad and Courtney. They have bought their first home in the suburbs. They have a son, Finn, and then they have a baby, Anders, who they call Andy. We were gonna be city people. We were gonna be lifers. We were that was be the plan. City lifers. <laughs> then we both got the opportunity to work from home a little bit more. Decided to get a little more space. We were looking for a home that was less than perfect. Kind of find the project for us to work on. Finn, what you got? You ran over to help mom? It's basically they bought the fixer upper intentionally. They're both Which DIY people. But I think what's left needs a contractor. Yeah. Do you think they need a babysitter? No. I think they're I, probably covered for that. I am available. I just miss babies. This is it. Where? Here? Right here. Yeah. Okay. This is so beautiful. Beautiful. <gasps> hey. Very happy to see you. Please <laughs> come on in. Hey. Come on in. Thank you. Welcome to our home. What a great wow. house this is. Hi. Hi. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Hi, Courtney. Hi, nice you? to meet you. Good to meet you too. This area is so beautiful. I love that when you come in the door, you just see greenery from every window. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit like a tree house. So tell us a little bit about the house. So we're in the living room, obviously, now. Yeah, you know, instead of spending $100,000 over asking to get the home, we right. tried to find the home that needed work that we could put some money into. We'd done some DIY stuff even when we were in the city. We weren't scared of a project. Okay. Maybe we should have been, but... <laughs> Floor obviously needs a little bit of love. We were hoping we could just <laughs> do something with the original wood floors. Yeah. This was a porcelain floor with cement backer board and did you pull all this up? Nails. I did. Okay. I did, and it was the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah. I like your cabinet color. Thank you. Thank you. We did that. Painted, put in the butcher block, but my tile job over here was really bad and didn't get to grout yet. I really respect what Brad has tried to do. He's put a lot of sweat equity into this house. But this is not framing a photograph and, and putting a coat of paint on something. Like, he's digging into the house with power tools. Yes, he needs it's, help. Yeah. And we're here to help. Tell us about the stairs. Let me see well, this. So the stairs initially when we came in, they were covered in carpet, plywood, and three okay. layers of paint. So okay. we went to work pulling all that out. And then our last thing, throwing in this railing, it was our attempt at putting in something safe that still maybe looked all right. And we got a call after three years of waiting that there was you know, a baby that was about to be born that we needed to Three years show of waiting for what? For adoption. For adoption. Three years of, yeah, we were in the adoption process for three years. Wow. Yeah, we decided that after having Finn, the way we were going to grow our family was through adoption. We thought we would have more time to do these projects. We thought we'd have a little more warning. And then one day we got a call that the next day we were going to meet our son. We had less than 24 hours notice. Oh, wow. I had boards covering this yeah. to like let it dry, right. and then we just threw everything in the car. Well, that's every parent knows. Yeah. Everything halts immediately, like Everything that's halts. it. All DIY projects are done. We love doing the DIY stuff, but right. we love being parents and we've got two kids that need us yeah. and that's now gonna take our focus for a while. <laughs> so we'll go into the main bedroom. Okay. It's tight. There okay. isn't really a lot of room to move around. There isn't room for a crib. We both work from home a lot, so we need a space to work as well. Closet is a little tight and kind of weird. There's actually two, but the way they're kind of laid out. The fact that you guys are this happy and this kind with this closet situation. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this for you. You are too nice to be living with a closet like this. <laughs> Please enjoy the safari wonderland. That oh, is this our, is so great. Our son Finn's bedroom. Absolutely animal obsessed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really love this art that Courtney made, you know, yeah. while she was pregnant with Finn. The words on there are what we're really trying to get our kids to be, so. This is not going anywhere. <laughs> this okay. is tied up here. You yeah. guys are all kind of but, on top of well, each other. Well, you might have yeah. noticed we didn't walk you by a bathroom. You've been living here now with basically a two-month-old and a four-year-old with no bathroom at all on this floor. Correct. Yes. So we always knew when we moved in, this probably needed to become a bathroom. Okay. okay. Adding a bathroom upstairs is obviously a must, but we're working with a really small footprint and the slope ceilings take up a lot of square footage. Not to mention we still need to find a bedroom for Finn. What other spaces do we have to kind of reallocate? Because we're going to need a space for baby. We're going to need right. a space for Fen. Let's take you, you back, back downstairs. Down? Okay. And we'll show you the you guys, you you guys, guys lead the way. Come on down, guys. Okay. Hey. The main floor opens into a living room. There's an office with a bathroom next to it, as well as an open concept kitchen and dining area with a play space tucked in the corner. Our understanding is this used to be a bedroom, hence the kind of step down here. Okay. You see right now, it's kind of just chaotic, toy filled. So we've got this space that we currently use as an office. Oh, another great room. Yeah. yeah. 
We installed this chandelier that we found in a nearby home that was being demolished. Cool. So, I'd say it kind of encapsulates what we were hoping to do with this house. There's yeah. a lot of spaces that we're trying to tackle and a lot of things that we want to address. What do you have to contribute financially? <laughs> it's my favorite part of the day. We're ready to put $110,000 into okay. this home. Okay. We feel like that makes sense. That'll get us, okay. hopefully, with your amazing work, what we're looking for. Yeah. You are in good hands with us. We've heard you. We've heard how you know character matters and history and family matters. And our priority has always been people, then pets, then stuff. And so if this is gonna allow you to prioritize that the same way, that's a huge, huge win for everybody here. And that slam usually means one thing. What are you doing up there? I can hear you coming before you actually even get here. Were you a loud child? Babe, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on Brad and Courtney. I don't know if you've noticed like the palette I'm kind of building out. It's like a little bit moody, a little masculine, but not totally. They're super vintage inspired. They love old hardware like me. And they I like know. old dirty metal things like me. Mm, yum. I want to use their vintage hardware. I want to reuse the old doors. I kind of liked the idea of going really dark in the primary. Our plan is to make the entire second floor into the primary suite. So in the bedroom, we can start with a bold color on the walls and soften the look with light hardwood floors with some vintage accents. And by pushing back the interior wall, we can add a cozy office area. Then we'll create a new opening into what used to be Finn's bedroom to add a really spacious ensuite bathroom. Can we talk about Finn's room? Oh, little Finn. Even though we're taking him from upstairs and moving him downstairs, I want him to feel familiar in the space, but new. So let's stick with the animal theme that he loves so much. I don't think that we should do a print in his room on the walls, like in the wallpaper. I think we should keep it a little quieter. Well, in keeping with the sort of blues and greens. I love that. I just like the idea of having Finn's bedroom have like a backdrop of a lot of texture that's saturated in color. And I feel like that is a wall covering that will grow with him. And for baby Anders, right now, the playroom isn't separated from the dining area. Putting up a wall and decorating in soft tones will create a space that can easily transition into a bedroom for Anders in the future. Okay, I'm open to that. All right, we're in a good spot for Brad and Courtney. While we've been in the city, the demo team has been so hard at work prepping the main floor to build our new playroom. Upstairs, we are blowing out all the walls to make way for the new primary bathroom that's gonna give Brad and Courtney their own adult space that they desperately need. Okay, I'm excited! Okay. This is really coming along beautifully. This now is the dining kitchen zone, and this now Raw. is this. the kids zone. We'll have Finn's room on the left with a new entryway just off the bathroom, and the wall for the new playroom will go right here. Speaking of four-year-old, what are we gonna do about this staircase? Because it is a death trap. I know. We could fill this in, which I don't wanna do, or we could do balusters and a rail. I'm open. Okay. With the design plan finalized, it's time to get to work. Upstairs in the primary bathroom, a new subfloor is going in along with a smaller window to make way for a huge walk-in shower. Rob's team is also installing the new ceiling joists. With the extra foot of space we're gaining, this bedroom is going to feel massive. Downstairs, the framing is going up to create the new playroom, which will become baby Anders' bedroom in the future. It's full steam ahead at Brad and Courtney's. On the main floor, we're installing new wide plank hardwood floors in both Finn's room and in the playroom. Not only is it gorgeous, but it's certain to stand up to the day-to-day -day adventures of two little boys. Upstairs, the drywall is going up in the gigantic primary suite. And in the bathroom, we're installing penny tile that really plays into the vintage style that Brad and Courtney love. They have made so many big decisions that have changed their lives. They left the city, bought the fixer-upper. They went through this really laborious process of adoption. And so now there's an opportunity that we have to create a space for them that reflects the love and joy that they exude as people. And I hope that they come home and really feel safe and secure in everything that they've done and all the decisions they've made. It's been a minute. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, guys. 
What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's everything? Wow. Sorry, we're like creeping around to see. This is super exciting. I was worried it was going to feel closed off too with this gone, this doorway, but it actually feels nice though. It does, yeah. Now there's some privacy for the playroom and for Finn's bedroom, and I think that that's going to be a whole different way of living in this space. We've made a lot of good progress so far. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. We've been trying to do the best that we can for him. Brad and Courtney have been sending us drinks while we're working have since it's really? been so hot. Yeah. <laughs> Every week they send us drinks. That's so, so sweet. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So these are gonna be the tiles for the bathroom. The shape, the irregularity is really pretty. Yeah. And then here's what we're thinking for the drapes. It's just really pretty. Yeah. It's simple. I love the texture. And then the sort of cross hatching. Great. I love this very sort of moody, almost Victorian, but very vintage vibe for everything that we're selecting. But now seeing this space, does this color scare you? I think it looks beautiful. And it feels infinite in a small space like this. Okay. We're really moving in the primary suite. The team is installing a new custom closet system that should be a big improvement on their old setup. In the bathroom, the gorgeous vintage style tile is being installed in the shower while Rob and his team get Brad and Courtney's old dresser ready to become their new vanity. And in Finn's room, the new textured wallpaper is being applied. It's a look that will work for Finn not only now, but well into the future. With this house, there was so much opportunity that we didn't expect. We've got a brand new primary bathroom ensuite. The primary bedroom feels gracious and open. We've got this new office when you come up the stairs. It's all been a win. All right, look at this space was completely underutilized before. Whoa, they didn't even have the depth of it. We gained all of this by opening it up, and that is the right size wedding photo. Yes, and now they have a proper workspace. Smart use of space. I'm hoping that we gave them the opportunity to safely live a brand new chapter of their lives where their family can continue to grow and they can do it in a safe way. This is the tale of the DIYers who ran out of time to DIY and we got to come in and create a space that really works for their family. Look at these floors. Hi, hi. Hi, guys. Welcome home. Are these the original floors? They are. No. Cleaned up and refreshed. You did yes. it. My dream come true. What? And then you can obviously see you've got a brand new safe banister. It's a okay. This looks wonderful. It's definitely fresh. Just a slight redo, but the big news today is up these stairs because this is the life changer. Oh, there's a oh. nice little nook. Oh, that's wonderful. Little desk area oh here. Would not gosh. have thought about that. Well, that's a nice desk. Guys, that's definitely our style. Look at the picture. Oh, hey. I know that. I know that photo. OK, ready to go in? I guess. Oh, I like oh, it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is not the same room. No, this is wild. Whew. Look at this oh, transition. Oh man, I love it all. No. It's a dresser. That was our dresser and it's a super cool vanity now. Oh, that is like perfect. That's amazing. Wow. Guys, what do you think? I mean, it's how all handsome. great, but like, come on. Look how handsome. Where, come on. Where did you find all the space? And yeah, this is such a bigger shower than we Everything ever thought we is... had in this tiny room. This is like a full-on primary Proper suite. Proper primary suite. Yeah, it really is. But everything in here is obviously vintage inspired by what you guys gravitate towards. Your dresser being a huge impetus for the design. Oh, oh my he's gosh. gonna lose he's gonna it. He's gonna love it. Oh, they got cars ready for my him. Gosh. Perfect. That's the way to his heart. His dress. Oh my gosh, this is cool. What a great room you're giving your son, you guys. This decision to move it to this part of the house. I mean, look at his views. I would have killed for a room like this as a kid. We kept the animal theme, but also filled the room with a lot of fun yet sophisticated pieces. Yeah. So that's why we did this grass cloth, but in a color that's so sort of fun, fun and lively. The idea is for this room to be a transitional space that's great for Finn now, but also something that he can grow into. This is a really cool space. Exactly. <laughs>